Kathy. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm now fine. you can listen. Yes, I can hear you now. That's great. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hi, Miss. Hi, good evening, Jose. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. How was work today? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? Um, very good. Very good? Busy. Very good. Yeah, okay. funny. All right, that's nice. And yours, Lorena? How was your day? Some chores. Tareas como demandados o tareas de clase. Ah, ok. Mandado sería como chores o también tenemos la palabra errands. Que es para eso. Uh -huh. Ok, so you had a busy day. Estuvimos ocupados, ¿verdad? <ríe> Me imagino. ¿Y qué tal vamos con la plataforma? ¿Han tenido tiempo de trabajar un poquito? Section one, you finished? Two. Okay. Oh, section two. That's great. And you, Jose Arturo? Um, yeah. Um, I'm working, but I have a trouble. So any, okay. any part. All right. So don't worry, you have some time, but just remember to take advantage of the time, okay? Está bien, tenemos yeah. tiempo aún, pero sí, les animo a que cada que tengamos ahí algún tiempecito, pues nos metamos a la plataforma y trabajemos. Sí, vamos avanzando. ¿Y a qué se dedican? What do you do? Well, I'm a teacher, I'm a math teacher, but I'm Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. And you, Jose Arturo? I'm a technician and air conditioner system. Oh. <laughs> right. That's a nice thing. Hi, Isabel. Good evening, Isabel. Hi, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine, and you? Okay. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, welcome. Good evening, Irving. Good night, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, fine. <laughs> okay, so, so, maybe. <laughs> okay, tired, I imagine. Did you work today? Trabajo ahora, Irving? Okay, hi, Carla. How are you? Hi, I am fine, and you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, have you worked in a platform, Isabel? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Very good, teacher. Okay, have you completed any sections? Yes, uh, I think I finished 1.4. Okay, nice. And Irving, have you worked in a platform, Irving? Repeat, please. Have you worked in the platform? ¿Ha trabajado en la plataforma? Uh, solo la he estado estudiando, pero sin parte completarla. Ok. Sí. Bueno, está bien. En Carla Cerritos. Carla, have you worked in the platform?
Yes, today. Okay, you have been working. Nice. Did you complete any sections? No. Not yet. You're in section one still. Vamos aún en la sección uno. Okay. That's good. Great. All right. We are just a few today. No se han conectado casi. Solo tenemos cinco participantes. It's raining. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah, actually some people told me they couldn't get in the in the session because of that. There's no internet or even electricity, so yeah, it's hard. Yeah, um, even I was having trouble in the first session. Cuando me conecté a la primera sesión, no podía escuchar nada. So it's the connection, I guess. Wow. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to wait just for two minutes and then we start, okay? Vamos a darles un tiempecito, tal vez se conecta alguien más. Creo que sí. All right, welcome Mauricio, good evening. Okay, vamos a ir iniciando entonces. We are going to start. So welcome everybody. And the first thing I would like to ask you is if you have any doubts about the, the work in the platform, any exercises you need to reinforce or anything. No sé si tenemos dudas respecto a la plataforma o algún ejercicio en el que queramos reforzar o algo. Me pueden decir. Ok, eh, he tenido un poquito de, de, de dificultad con el 1.9, ya con, 1. El, 9. Parece, con el test. Uh -huh. Bien. Entonces, um, bueno, creo que cuando ya lleguemos por ahí, voy a, a solicitar un poquito más la, la, la aclaración en, en referencia a, a lo que estamos viendo. Ok, el 1.9, si gusta lo podemos ver ahora o no sé, usted me dice si quiere esperar hasta que lleguemos ahí, pues. Pero si no, sin ningún problema, pues ahora podemos verlo para que nos ubiquemos. Porque de igual forma los demás en algún momento van a llegar por ahí, así que nos serviría a todos. Solo que está un poquito raro okay, mi Ok, perfecto. Sí, son la, el topic WS, question using the going to. WH. Um, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta en específico o le gustaría que, que veamos todo o no sé, usted me dice. Um, creo que específicamente en el test. Um, ok. Por acá en el knowledge check. Sería. Knowledge check, huh? Muy bien. Entonces tenemos instructions, complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to, follow the example. Vamos a completar utilizando be going to. Acá tiene el ejemplo. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Entonces debemos escribir la forma correcta del be going to, dependiendo de lo que necesitemos. Por ejemplo, acá en la conversation one, who are you? Y vamos a utilizar el verbo invite, invite. Con going to. Entonces eh, tendríamos que escribir lo que nos falta, que sería, no sé si alguien puede ayudarme ahí. Going uh, to invite. Exactly. Who are you going to? Invite. 
Eso sería evening. lo que debemos. Good evening. Welcome. Entonces, eso sería lo que debemos agregar, el going to invite. Porque acá ya tenemos el verb be, are, y yeah. el, la WH word que va acá al, al inicio, ¿verdad? Okay. ok, solamente eso. Muy bien. Eh, no sé si alguien más tiene alguna consulta respecto a la plataforma o algún ejercicio. Well, you have a play, the place where you can write uh, actually the finish when they say you can write your porque te listes I don't know how many sentences do you have to write or oh. ten, seven, I don't know. You can write as much as you can or as much as you want. Ahí puede escribir tanto como usted quiera. No hay un límite. Nada más que si les recomiendo en los foros, si les recomiendo que escribamos oraciones completas. Por ejemplo, acá en el primero de Months and Dates, que le pide que hablemos de las fechas importantes de su país, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, escribir, por ejemplo, eh, Independence Day is on September 15th, and so on. Escribimos oraciones completas para practicar Concretamente, ¿verdad? No solamente eh, September 15th o December 24th, sino que tratemos de utilizar la estructura completa. Y puede escribir todo lo que usted guste. De igual forma, si de pronto quiere que yo les revise alguna de las, de las participaciones en los discussions o foros, me dice y yo con mucho gusto lo hago. Ah, muy bien. Sure. Okay, any other question? No more? All right, so then let's start with what I have prepared for today's class. So. There we are. So first of all, let's remember about the months of the year. I am going to tell you a number and then you are going to tell me the corresponding months. For example, what's the first month of the year? What's the first month of the year? Yo le voy a decir un número y usted me dice el mes que corresponde a ese orden. For example, what's the first month of the year? January, exactly. January. Very good, January. January. Okay, Roberto, tell me, what's the third month of the year? Uh, March. March, great. Carla, tell me what's the 11th month of the year? November. November, great. Karen Quintanilla, what's the sixth month of the year? June. June, great. Ana Ruth, what's the eighth month of the year? August. August, nice. And Joshua, what's the twelfth month of the year? December. December, great. Julio Cesar, what's the second month of the year? Sorry, Julio Cesar, we cannot hear you. Um, okay, lo veo que, que nos habla, pero no le podemos escuchar. Okay, got it, February, nice. All right, so now let's move to today's lesson objective. So by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes, no questions with using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about birthday plans. And this conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Vamos a hablar un poquito de cómo utilizar el be going to, específicamente en preguntas de yes, no. 
Y también vamos a practicar una conversación en la que utilizamos esta estructura para hablar acerca de cumpleaños y ilustramos también la forma en que vamos a utilizarlo en una conversación real. So let's start with the conversation. I am going to read Perdón, for you and... Sí. Sí, ahora sí la escuchamos. So I'm going to read the conversation for you. I need you to take notes of any new word that you find or any word that you need to to check the pronunciation for. Por favor, eh, me escuchan y si tienen alguna pregunta respecto al vocabulario, la anotamos o la mantenemos en mente y al finalizar me dice para poder despejar la duda. De igual forma, si no le queda clara la pronunciación de alguna palabra, vamos a practicarlo al finalizar la lectura. So we have, are you going to do anything excited this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice, is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, any questions? Preguntas sobre vocabulario, pronunciación? Uh, teacher. Eh, ¿Aló? ¿Hola? Sí. Solo una duda, fíjese que yo siempre he tenido problemas con la pronunciación de, de, por ejemplo, el número, me parece que es el número 9, creo, cuando dice, it's August 9, Sunday, no sé cómo es. Ok, eh, sí, la TH. Cuando lleva la TH. Cara. Cierto, eh, pues eso, debemos practicar un poquito. Como les decía ayer, ese sonido lo producimos subiendo nuestra lengua hacia, en dirección hacia los dientes de arriba, más o menos así. Y luego sacamos aire, nada más es un sonido que uh -huh. es casi imperceptible. Si se fijan, es poquito lo que se escucha la diferencia, sin embargo hay que hacerlo. Porque, como les decía ayer, si no, pues estamos diciendo otro número, ¿verdad? So, try to practice. Hay que tratar de practicar lo más que se pueda. It goes like ninth. Ninth. Repeat, please, everybody. Ninth. Tipo, tipo. Ninth. August ninth. 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 Tipo la pronunciación Nine. de la Z. Nice. Similar, we could say. Nice. Sí, podríamos, si sí, tenemos que, que nice. compararlo con algún sonido en español, creo que sería lo más semejante la Z. Nice. Ok, any other question? Chair. Yes. Um, how would pronounce the word waiters? Meseros? Waiters. 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 Waiters, meseros, y luego también el femenino que es waitress. 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 Meseras. Waitress. Yes. Waiters, waitress. Okay, any other question? ¿Qué tal la palabra embarrassing? ¿Conocemos el significado? ¿Qué es el significado de embarrassing? ¿Qué es el significado de embarrassing? Algo que habla. Embarazoso. Exacto. Vergonzoso. Exactly, vergonzoso. So, when something is embarrassing, I feel embarrassed. Digo que algo es embarrassing, pero yo me siento embarrassed, avergonzado, ¿ok? Embarrassed. All right, any other thing? No, okay, please repeat, fabulous. 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 
birthday. 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 Very good. Ninth. 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 August. 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 Embarrassing. 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 Waiters. 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 Okay, so now we are going to practice the conversation. I am going to select two people to read it. So that's going okay. to be Karen Quintanilla and yes. let's see, Noemi. Help me to read, please. So Karen, you start. Noemi, you read the red text. Very good. Okay. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August night, night Sunday. So what are your plans? When my friends Kayla is going to take to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? No. I'm nice. Is she going to order a cake? Let's see, I think Noemi's gone, I think. So let me read it. Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. So thank you. That was nice. Let okay. me select another what? pair. That's going to be Lorena and uh, Julio Cesar. Lorena, you can start going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are you plan what are you plan? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for diners. Nice. Is she going to go in our cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to uh, sign happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Very good. Thank you for participating. Let's see, we're going to have one last pair to read it. That is going to be Jose Arturo and Mauricio. Okay. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. My birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Great. Thank you for participating, guys. So now please repeat, everybody. Exciting. 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 Celebrate. 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 Birthday. 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 Fabulous. 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 Exactly. 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 August. 
August. August. August. Ninth. 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 Dinner. 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 Waiters. 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 Probably. 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 Embarrassing. 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 Okay, so this is how we use be going to. Now let's talk a little bit about um, some plans. Remember that we use be going to to talk about plans for the future. So let's see, we are going to make a list of activities that we plan to do in the future. Vamos a hacer una lista de actividades que planeamos hacer en el futuro. And ahí en su pantalla, arriba debe ver una, una toolbar que tiene la opción de annotate. Ahí puede darle clic. Seleccionamos texto y con eso podemos escribir en pantalla y podemos ir agregando ideas. O si quiere que yo la agregue, me dice and I'll type it, okay? So, for example, I plan to travel. Over going. I'm going to travel. Okay. Any other? Uh, exercise. Exercise. Sure. Study the lesson. Okay, study my lessons. Any other ideas? Go to the beach. That's a good plan, right? Go to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anything Work. else? Work? Work. Yeah. Okay. Drive. Business. Um, can you repeat that, please? Business. Maybe do business. Do business. Do business. Find a job. Find a job. Okay. Job. Any other plan? Dinner. Have dinner. Okay, so all of those plans, we can express them by using be going to. For example, when we say, I'm going to find a job. I'm going to find a job. Going to find. Or I'm going to travel. Next one, we do business. Lorena, can you make a sentence, please? Sorry, Lorena, we cannot hear you now. I'm going to do business. All right. Okay. Nice. Next one, go to the beach. Let's see. Roberto, help me with this one, please. I'm going to go to the beach. Very good. Study my lessons, Isabel. Oh. I'm going to study my lessons. Excellent. Exercise my body, Joshua. I'm going to exercise my body. Great. Have dinner, Noemi. Okay, how about Anna Ruth? Anna Ruth, make a sentence using have dinner, please. Anna Ruth? Disculpe, licenciada, que estoy teniendo problemas, no. Me he perdido ah. casi todo. Ok, no worry. Estamos haciendo oraciones utilizando be going to. Entonces, a esto le agrego I'm going to. And then the phrase have dinner, for example. I'm going to 
exercise my body, I am going to travel, I am going to find a job, and so on, okay? So here I have, let me clear it. Okay, so here I have some more examples. If you have checked and watched the video, you should have seen that we use the structure for the be going to sentences. Utilizamos esta estructura. So first of all, we need a subject. I, you, we, they, he, she, or Mary, Louis, or whoever you want to make a subject. Then the B goes in the forms am, is, or are. El verb be no es que me lo va a poner como tal, be, sino que vamos a utilizar cualquiera de las tres formas según el sujeto, am, is, o are. Ya sabemos que corresponden I am, you are, he, am, are. is, or are. He? He is. He is, she? Is. Is, we? Are. are. We are and they are. Are. Entonces, eso lo vamos cambiando dependiendo del sujeto, como lo hacemos normalmente. Y luego agregamos going to plus the verb. Acá el going to no va a cambiar nunca y el verbo es súper fácil porque no debemos cambiarlo ni agregarle ing ni es. Nada. Solo lo utilizamos en su forma simple. Take, go, eat, exactly, in the base form. So you don't add okay, anything going, or, tell me. Porque el be going to nunca cambia. Um, realmente es la, es la forma en que debemos utilizarlo, ¿verdad? Vamos a utilizar siempre esta parte going to, um, que corresponde al... Al gerund. Entonces, eso no lo cambiamos, el verbo igual, solamente lo que va a cambiar es am, is, o are. Esa sería la parte que vamos a ir cambiando dependiendo del sujeto del que estemos hablando. Lo demás es siempre igual, ¿ok? Ok. So, here I have some examples. We are going to have a class tomorrow. We are going to have a class tomorrow. Then we have Roxy is going to eat some cake. Anne is going to travel to Japan. And I'm going to go to the beach. Y luego también recordemos que podemos utilizar las contractions or contracted forms. Acá como utilizamos el verb be, vamos a, a tener la opción de utilizar también las contracciones que serían, en lugar de decir, we are going to have, podríamos decir, we're going to we're have a class tomorrow. And then, for Roxy is going to eat, Roxy is going to eat, right? Roxy is going to eat. Also, Roxy. with Anne, Anne's going to travel, Anne's going to travel, or I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the beach. Entonces, acá podemos utilizar las contracciones que corresponden siempre al verb be. Y también en cuanto a pronunciación, cuando utilizamos going to en una conversación informal, vamos a tener la opción de sonar más naturales diciendo gonna o pronunciándolo como gonna. Por ejemplo, si usted escucha a un americano o un estadounidense Decir algo con going to no va a pronunciarlo como I'm going to, sino que va a decirlo rápidamente y va a sonar como gonna. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna go to the beach. Anne's gonna travel. Anne's gonna travel to Japan. Roxy's gonna eat some cake. Or we're gonna have a class tomorrow, okay? So you reduce going to to gonna. El going to lo reducimos a gonna. Entonces siempre nos quedaríamos con la misma estructura, excepto que acá el going to se pronuncia como gonna. Y eso se hace nada más en conversación informal, normalmente en forma oral, ¿verdad? En escrito solamente tal vez cuando usted 
tiene algún chat ahí con amigos o algo así, puede utilizarlo. Sin embargo, pues ya en una tarea o algo así, no se utiliza, ¿ok? Ok. Teacher, ¿puede, puede, puede leer la primera oración de We Are Going con el Kona. Sure. We're going to have a class tomorrow. We're going to have a class tomorrow. Siempre mantenemos el verb be. Gonna to have. No, gonna have. Solo desaparece. Gonna tú. have. Ah, okay. Sí, entonces acá lo, to lo tomaríamos como que estuviésemos, eh, digamos, eliminando el going to, o mejor dicho, sustituyendo el going to por gonna. Entonces, en lugar de decir going to, acá voy a decir gonna. 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 We're gonna have a class tomorrow. We're gonna have a class tomorrow. Y luego, como la idea es acortarlo y decirlo más rápido, más natural, eh, de forma más fluida, pues se recomienda utilizar las contracciones, ¿verdad? En lugar de decir, we are gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna go. Roxy's going, Roxy's gonna eat. Or Anne's gonna travel. I'm going, gonna go. I'm gonna go to the beach. Eh, no sé si queda claro. Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Clear. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit about some useful expressions for talking about the future. So we have expressions like tomorrow, this week, this month, or this year. Then we have next week, next month, next year, soon. In later. Estas son algunas expresiones que podemos utilizar con going to cuando hablamos de actividades para el futuro. Um, do you have any questions about them? No sé si tenemos preguntas respecto al significado o algo que querramos saber de las expresiones. Todas estas se utilizan como complemento, ¿verdad? Exactly. You use them at the end. Normalmente las agregamos al final de la oración, as a complement. Así es. So I'm going to study tomorrow, for instance. I am going to travel next week. Or mm -hmm. I'm going to come home um, soon, for instance. Okay, mm -hmm. so now repeat, please, tomorrow. 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 This week. This, this week. week. This month. This, this month. month. This year. This, this year. year. Next week. Next, Next week. week. Next month. Next, Next month. month. Next year. Next, Next year. 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 Soon. 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 Later. 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 Okay, very good. So now I have some work for you. I need you to practice in pairs by answering this question. What are you going to do tomorrow? Vamos a practicar en parejas. Así que vamos a, a enviarlos a los breakout rooms. And you have one minute and a half to practice. You have to answer the question. What are you going to do tomorrow? Talk about tomorrow's plans. Bien, voy a enviarlos entonces a los breakout rooms. Vamos a, let me see, we have 13 participants. So that is breakout rooms. Okay, so please just, Click on OK or join. Just accept the invitation and go to the breakout rooms and answer the question. What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay, vamos dando click en aceptar o unirse. Y vamos a responder todos esta pregunta. Okay, very good.
I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up late and I'm gonna do some eggs and I'm gonna I'm gonna watch more watch a lot of TV. What are you going going to do tomorrow? Okay. I'm gonna go to the supermarket with my mother and I'm gonna watch a movie in the afternoon and also I'm gonna So what are you going to do tomorrow? You're being in Anna. Um, I'm going to um, celebrate my birthday. Nice. And you, Anna? I'm going to practice the English exercise. Great. All right, that's nice. Continue practicing. Talk about the things that you are going to do tomorrow. De todas las actividades, ¿ok? So, try to add more examples. Okay. I'm going to listen to music. Jose, what are you going to do yeah. tomorrow? Es así la pronunciación. To travel. Uh -huh. To travel. Travel to any place or? Where are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow. Perdón, Noemi, aquí yes. estoy. Creo que me iba a hacer una pregunta cuando me fui. <laughs> Sí, eh, es que eh, creo que me he perdido en la pronunciación de la pregunta porque esto es en tiempo con, continuo. What are you going to do tomorrow? Es así la, la pronunciación. Exactly. What are you going to do tomorrow? Ok. Yes. Pero en caso de la respuesta, yo le dije, ¿verdad? A José. Eh, I'm going I'm going to take a to take the pictures, ¿es correcto? Yes, I'm going to take some pictures. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Solo no decimos... Sí, muy bien. Eh, decimos the pictures cuando estamos hablando de algunas fotos en específico, pero si solo digo ah. que voy a tomar fotos, uh -huh. I'm going to take uh -huh. some pictures or I'm going to take pictures. Ok. Ah, are, go are going... I'm to, going to, to to take on pictures. Take some pictures. Okay. Take, take some. some take takes. Ay, si es que el verbo en plural también. Take some pictures. <laughs> yes, I'm going to take some uh, pictures. Sí. I'm going to I'm going to take some um, pictures. <laughs> Perdón, um, otra vez. Some. I'm going to take some, take some picture, pictures. Exactly. Take some pictures. Okay. Let Tengo me write Yeah, just Thank practice you. a couple of times, you'll get it. Practicándolo un par de veces, ya va a ver que se le queda. Mm -hmm. Sí, necesito. Es, es, Noemí, es un poco más fácil si asocia al take, le agrega la S al final. Take some pictures. Ah, I'm going to take some pictures. Agrega a take. I'm going to take some pictures. Okay. I'm, go I'm going to take some pictures. Okay. Is that it? It sounds good. Yes. Sounds nice. Sounds okay. very good. Th thank you. Volvemos a la sala. Yes, it's time to go okay. back. Okay. Okay, very good. I hear about some of your plans and you're doing pretty well. So let's see. 
So now let's talk a little bit about the negative. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher. Yes, Noemi. Eh, pero Josué dijo en su respuesta, he's going to go to my, to my work. Pero entonces yo para decir lo de que él va a ir a su trabajo, entonces yo tengo que decir, he's, eh, he's, he's going to go to, he's, to his, his, work. his work, ¿verdad? Exactly, to Eso his sí. work. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now let's talk a little Thank bit you. about the negative. You're welcome. Here I have Thank some you. examples. We add not as we normally do with all the negative sentences. And we use it as in the verb be. Utilizamos el negativo como en el verb be. I am not. I am not going to eat pizza. They are not going to visit their grandma. Jack and Louis are not going to buy a house. Caroline is not going to study French. And then we can also use contractions. También podemos utilizar contracciones. Serían como, I am not going to eat pizza. En este caso, I am not going to eat pizza. Or here we are already using, they are not going to visit their grandma. But we can also have another option. They aren't going to visit their grandma. Puedo utilizar ambas opciones. They are not going to or they aren't going to. And the same happens here. Jack and Louis are not going to buy a house or Jack and Louis aren't going to buy a house. Caroline's not going to study French or Caroline isn't going to study French. Entonces, de igual forma, utilizamos las mismas contracciones que tenemos para el verb be. Isn't, aren't, and so on. Any questions? No sé si tenemos preguntas con respecto a esto. No. Okay. So, now that we know the negative, we are going to practice. We are going to make a chain by practicing this memory game. It goes like this. I'll start by saying something that I'm going to do tomorrow. For example, I'm going to make a test. I'm going to make a test. And then the next person has to repeat, but say in the negative, I am not going to make the t a test, but I'm going to go to the supermarket, for instance. Aquí vamos a repetir lo que diga la persona anterior en el negativo. Luego vamos a agregar algo that we are going to do. Ok. So let's try it. Mm -hmm. Y nada más aclarar con el ejemplo que yo les di. I'm going to make a test. En mi caso digo make a test porque sería como preparar un examen. Hacerlo de diseñarlo y tal. Sin embargo, cuando vamos a hacer un examen, it's do an exam or do a test, okay? All right, so let me start and I'm going to ask um, some different people to participate, so please be attentive. So tomorrow I am going to sleep all day. I'm going to sleep all day. Lorena, continue. Lorena, please turn on your microphone. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to. Can you repeat, please? Sure. I'm going to sleep all day. I'm not going to sleep all day, <laughs> but I'm going to go to Walmart. Okay. Nice. Noemi, it's your turn. I'm not going to. <laughs> to go to Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> repeat, please. Sure. Lorena, can you repeat, please? I'm not going to, I don't say how do you say, to do a test, no? 
No, I said sleep all day. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to sleep all day, but I'm going to go to Walmart. No, and me? Thank you. I'm not going to to cook. To go to, to, go, to go to cook. I'm not going to go to Walmart, but I'm going. Y ahí agrega la suya, okay? Repite lo que dice Lorena en el negativo y luego agregamos una oración en el afirmativo. Okay. I'm not going to go to, to Walmart. Walmart. To, to go Walmart. But I'm, but I'm going to cook. Okay, great. Next one that is... Um, Sorry, I cannot see your name, Jose Arturo. Okay. Um, I'm not going to the cook, mm -hmm. but I'm going, but I'm going to the restaurant. I'm going to go to the restaurant. Okay. I'm going to go to the restaurant. Very good. Laura Bayona, it's your turn. I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to pick up my sister. Ay, 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 ay. Pick up your sister. Good. Isabel, it's your turn. I'm not going to pick my sister, but I am going to eat a lot tomorrow. Okay, nice. Mauricio, continue. Mauricio, check your microphone, please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No worries. I'm not going to uh, eat a lot tomorrow. Eat a lot. No. You repeat Isabel's. Repite lo que dijo Isabel. She said, mm. I'm going to eat a lot tomorrow. Mm. So, no. Eh. Debe... El, el, el ejemplo me perdí. El, eh, eh, ¿Cómo okay. se llama? El, 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 el contenido que era. Sí, lo que dijo Isabel es lo que usted debe repetir. Ella dijo, I'm going to eat a lot tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to eat tomorrow, but I'm going to, uh, to, uh, take a shower. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. Julio Cesar, your turn. Mm. Repeat. Mm. 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 Please. Can you repeat, please? And your name, Mauricio. <laughs> you forgot. So you said, I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. But I'm going to take a shower. I'm not going to shower. To take a shower? I, uh, repeat, please. I'm not going to take the shower, mm -hmm. shower, but I'm going to run in the park. Okay, run in the park. Laura, your turn. Cook. Laura? I'm I'm not going to to run to the park, but I'm going to to go to the dance. Go to dance. To dance. Okay. Nice. All right. Our next participant is Irvin. Irvin. 
I am going to dance. I am going to no. I am going to do the dance, but I am going going to study. All right. I'm going to study. Anna Ruth, it's your turn. I am not going to study, but I am I am going to go to the supermarket. Very good. Roberto, you continue. I am not going to go to the supermarket. I am going to the guard and the and the dog in the park. Okay, you're going to walk the dog in the park. Yeah. Next one, Carla. I am not going to walk the dog in the park, but I am going to do my homework. Great, you're going to do your homework. And let's see who's missing, Joshua. Um, I'm not going to my homework, but I'm going to play football. All right, great. Very nice, everybody did it pretty great. So we only have a couple of minutes. I don't know if you have any questions or are we doing fine? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? ¿Estamos claros con cómo utilizar el afirmativo y negativo? Sí, pero tengo una pregunta. Ok, tell me. ¿Cómo se pronuncia o la manera correcta de pronunciar but I am going to? But I'm going to. So it's but I'm, I'm not going. going to, but I'm going to. But este si, se pronuncia más o menos como si tuviera una A. No es exactamente el, el sonido de A, pero sí se asemeja bastante. So, but I'm going to. But I'm going to. Okay, thanks. All right, you're welcome. Any other questions? No, teacher. No more? Oh, clear. Okay, great. So let me just talk a little bit about the yes, no questions. Tenemos un par de minutos. Vamos a hablar un poquitín de las preguntas y mañana reforzamos. Entonces, para hacer preguntas con be going to, we are going to start with the verb be. First of all, we use the verb be. So we start with am, is, or are. Vamos a iniciar nuestra pregunta con el verbo to be, que sería en las formas siempre am, is, or are. For example, are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Acá hacemos el cambio, ¿verdad? En una oración afirmativa, tenemos you are going to have an exam tomorrow. Pero acá movemos el sujeto y también el verb be. El verb be se utiliza para iniciar la oración y lo sigue el sujeto y lo demás, si se fija, es igual que en una oración normal, ¿verdad? Going to have an exam tomorrow. Entonces, normalmente vamos a cambiar las primeras dos palabras dependiendo del sujeto que tengamos. And then we have, are you going to have an exam tomorrow? And the answers could be, yes, I am, or no, I am not. Then we have a second example. Can you help me to read it, Jose Arturo? Help me to read, please. Are they going to invite their best friend to the party? Okay, and the answers can be yes, they are, or no, they aren't, right? The next example, help me to read it, please, Roberto. Is Lisa going to help? Seafood for lunch. All right. Answers, yes, she is or yes, no, she isn't. Very good. So just um, remember, the questions start with the verb be. Recordemos que para las oraciones iniciamos con el verb be y luego va a ir el sujeto. La demás parte de la oración es igual que en el afirmativo. Going to have an exam. 
going to invite their best friend to the party, going to have seafood for lunch. Entonces, los primeros dos elementos son los que debemos mover. El verb be, am, is, or are. Y el sujeto que tengamos, que puede ser eh, un pronoun, I, you, we, they, y todos esos. O podría ser de repente un nombre, eh, o dos, tres nombres, dependiendo del sujeto que estemos utilizando. And then the answers also change depending on the subject. También las respuestas van a ir cambiando dependiendo del sujeto del que estemos hablando o a quien estemos preguntando, de quien estemos eh, hablando, ¿verdad? So we use, for example, are you going? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Are they going? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is Lisa going? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Así vamos a ir cambiando y recordar siempre, cuando decimos no, utilizamos la forma negativa, ¿verdad? Decimos aren't, isn't, or am not. En el, al utilizar no, en el afirmativo, pues utilizamos el verbo to be normal. I am, you are, she is, and so on. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá. Estamos claros. Yes, teacher. Okay, so we are going to have some practice tomorrow. That will be all for today's class. Thank you very much for paying attention and for participating. Take care and have a good night. Good night. Have a good, good night, night, teacher. Teacher. night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care, everybody. Good night. Bye.